I'm Jessica Gaddeth, and this is your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with weather. Here's Jason Laney. And when it looked like the rains were getting ready to be completely done with, they've come back. We've got this cool front that's rolled into the northeastern part of the state, sparking showers and storms, while the southwest has enjoyed sunshine and warm temperatures yet another day. This front continues a south and westward march tonight, recharging the moisture, so at least one more day of showers across parts of New Mexico come Wednesday. Divers recovered 13-year-old Corbin Hayes' body from the Rio Grande late this afternoon. The Rio Rancho teen has been missing since last Thursday while swimming with his brother in the river. A Rio Rancho woman and her two kids were walking along the riverbank just north of the Alameda Bridge when they spotted his body this afternoon. Police say Hayes' body was hidden in thick brush and under a couple of feet of water. Recovery teams from several agencies took about an hour to pull Hayes out of the water. A police identified him from the clothes he was wearing. Hayes' father and two brothers were close by while the recovery was taking place. A big break in the search for a Corrales woman who disappeared April 3rd. Today, police found a Sandra Sanchez's car in the parking lot of a Northeast Albuquerque motel. Los Lunas Police Chief Roy Melnick says it's been sitting at the MCM Elegante Hotel parking lot nearly 60 days. He says surveillance video shows an unknown person dropping it off. Los Lunas police are handling the case because that's where Sanchez was last seen. Chief Melnick would not say what led the officers to the parking lot earlier today. State police CSI will open the car tomorrow, but right now they do not believe they will find a body in it. Police are calling Sanchez's ex-boyfriend a person of interest. Join us for more news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.